the recognition of Chesterfield County Centenarians in honor of National Centenarian Day. Ms. Preston. Madam Chair, members of the board, Dr. Casey. It is a privilege to be here this evening to honor 21 outstanding individuals in Chesterfield County who re re reached a remarkable milestone of turning 100 years of age or older. National Centenarians Day is observed annually on September 22nd. Therefore, we are pleased to share with you this evening a glimpse of the history, wisdom, and experience derived from our centenarians. Although they come from all walks of life with diverse backgrounds and experiences, what we learned from our centenarians are they share several common values that contribute to their longevity, which include the importance of faith, family, friends, as well as hard work and a positive attitude. They shared a profound appreciation for inventions that occurred during their lifetime, such as automobiles, blood tests for various diseases, electricity, indoor plumbing, television, telephones, phone boots, and the cell phones, washing machines, personal computers and the internet, cochlear implants, and space travel, many things we often take for granted. I would like to take a moment to share a profound quote by President Ronald Reagan that embodies the spirit of this program. For all they have achieved throughout life, for all they continue to accomplish, we owe older citizens our thanks and a heartfelt salute. We can best demonstrate our gratitude and esteem by making sure that our communities are good places in which to mature and grow older, places in which older people can participate to the fullest, can find the encouragement, acceptance, assistance, and services they need to continue to lead lives of independence and dignity. We are honored to celebrate and extend heartfelt birthday greetings to 21 outstanding centenarians in our community. The stories of their lives well lived are a testament to the opportunities to age well in Chesterfield County. We have prepared a slideshow to pay tribute to each of our centenarians, many of whom will be virtually joining us this evening with their family and friends to celebrate. Happy 100th birthday to Dell Baker. Dell is a World War II veteran. He served as U.S. Army Staff Sergeant in the South Pacific. Dell was married to his late wife, Kitty, for 64 years. He retired from DuPont after 42 years of service. Dell was an active member of the community, serving as a volunteer firefighter and longstanding member of the Dale Ruritan Club and American Legion. He enjoys the outdoors, gardening, watching the Lawrence Welk Show, and collecting baseball caps. Happy 100th birthday to Marguerite Bendel. She's a true Rosie the Riveter. She worked for DuPont during World War II. She had a pillow ministry where she made pillows for the sick and hospitalized. After 31 years, Marguerite retired from the telephone company as a supervisor. Marguerite enjoys walking, gardening, puzzles, cards, and Facebook. Her advice, be truthful about everything. And the secret to Marguerite's longevity, eat a wholesome diet and sleep regularly. Happy 100th birthday to Bernice Bennett. Bernice helped her parents care for eight siblings. She enjoyed preserving and canning vegetables each summer and sharing them, excuse me, with others. She is known for her wonderful tasting soup, according to family and friends. She is active in choir and church activities. She loved to shop for clothes and shoes. And according to her family and friends, Bernice has a heart of gold and a century worth of wisdom. Happy 102nd birthday to Dolores Bisbee. Dolores survived the Spanish flu and the Great Depression. A war bride, she was married to her late husband for 74 years. Her volunteer activities include Sunday school teacher, hospital auxiliary, Meals on Wheels, and the Heart Association. Dolores enjoys bowling, golf, walking, and watching sports, and her advice is stay positive. Happy 101st birthday to Marjorie Caudwell. 
Marjorie has three children, three grandchildren, two great-grandchildren, and three great-great-grandchildren. After high school, Marjorie received business and social training. Both faith and friendship are very important to Marguerite, and her advice is education is number one and get involved in your neighborhood. And she attributes her longevity to listening, games, proper diet, and walking. Happy 100th birthday to Blanche Chance. After high school, she worked as a dietary aide at the Veterans Hospital in East Orange, New Jersey. Blanche and her late husband, a World War II veteran, had three children. She's a longtime member of Elmwood Presbyterian Church and enjoys participating in Bible studies and services. She enjoys sewing, people watching, and talking with others. And the secret to Blanche's longevity is a healthy lifestyle and faith in God. Happy 100th birthday to Mabel Cook. Mabel remembers when mail was delivered by horseback. As a seamstress, she taught sewing machine operators in the factory. As a seamstress, Mabel taught sewing machine operators in a factory. Mabel was a Sunday school teacher for many years. She enjoys sewing, reading, painting, quilting, gardening, and preserving food for her family. And her advice, a true friend is worth more than money. Be a good citizen, live by the Ten Commandments, and be kind to others. Happy 100th birthday to Ruth Strickler Good. Ruth is a community volunteer and past worthy matron, Order of the Eastern Star, and past president of the Midlothian chapter of the AARP. Ruth learned to swim at 37, participated in the Virginia Senior Olympics, and retired from swimming at age 96. She's active with family and church, and Ruth's advice is be yourself, work hard, stay in school, study hard, and associate with people who don't pull you down and be on time. And Ruth still checks and responds to emails daily. Happy 105th birthday to Elizabeth Hayes. Despite losing one of her arms as a child in a farm accident, she volunteered at the VA hospital teaching soldiers how to tie their ties. She worked in administration for the State Police of Virginia Elizabeth enjoyed crocheting and Bible study. And the secret to Elizabeth's longevity, faith, and healthy eating. And her advice is keep your eyes on the Lord, work hard, and be kind. Happy 101st birthday to Helen Hines. Helen worked for the Red Cross and the Norfolk Naval Shipyard. She has been involved with several different groups at Chester Presbyterian Church. Helen and her husband volunteered at Pocahontas State Park landscaping and fundraising. Helen's hobbies include bowling, playing cards, gardening, sewing, cooking, and watching sports. Helen's advice, stay close to family, friends, and faith. Happy 100th birthday to Delby Huff. Delby served with the U.S. Army 503rd Regiment in the Philippines during World War II. A paratrooper and tech sergeant, his actions were mentioned in Devlin's book, Back to the Corregidor, America Retakes the Rock. He painted bridges and worked 42 years in logistics at the Defense General Supply Center. He enjoyed maintaining a nice lawn and garden, playing the harmonica and dancing. And the secret to Dell's longevity, hard work, peanut butter, apples, and oatmeal. Happy 101st birthday to Etta Johnson. Etta worked the election polls in East Orange, New Jersey and instilled the right and responsibility to vote in her family. Etta volunteered in church activities and as a Girl Scout leader. She enjoyed a bowling league and being in the sewing club with her granddaughters. Etta's advice, trust in God, believe in yourself, honor your parents, be kind, and continue to learn ways to better yourself and benefit your family and community. And the secret to Etta's longevity, live a clean lifestyle. Happy 103rd birthday to Lewis Martin. 
Lewis is a World War II veteran. He retired from the U.S. Army Reserves as Lieutenant Colonel after 29 years of service. Lewis taught horticulture at Florida A&M University. He was also an Associate Professor of Horticulture and Extension Specialist at Virginia State University. Lewis is active in church and a community volunteer. And Lewis's advice, live a healthy life, obtain as much education as possible, use knowledge for the benefit of your community, eat well, exercise, and build strong friendships with good people of purpose. Happy 101st birthday to Elton Morris. Elton enjoyed pets and watching ball games. He has had a diverse career. He serviced cars and machineries, worked at St. Elm Emma's Industrial and Agricultural Institute for a timber contractor, and his last job was with Ocean Spray Cranberries Company in New Jersey. Upon his return to Virginia, Elton enjoyed fishing, sporting events, eating at the Golden Corral, time with family and friends, and attending church. His advice was be nice, kind, and happy. And the secret to Elton's longevity is he did not let anything worry him. Happy birthday to Madge Palmer. Madge will be turning 100 years old in October. Madge has two children, two grandchildren, and two great-grandchildren. Her hobby is singing opera. Madge recalls that the happiest time in her life was in the 1930s when she performed concerts in public and on the radio. According to Madge, the secret to longevity is stay busy and eat healthy. And her advice is believe in yourself. You can do anything and have a can-do spirit. Happy 103rd birthday to Carrie Evelyn Samuel. Evelyn survived the 1918 pandemic and the Great Ohio River Flood of 1937. She is currently the oldest living member of Branches Baptist Church. A huge fan of the old Cincinnati Red Sox, one day Evelyn got on the team bus and refused to leave until she got Johnny Bench's autograph. Evelyn's secret to longevity, keep moving, enjoy good food but not too much, and never drink or smoke. And her advice, see your cup is full, be positive and optimistic, because many others are less fortunate. Happy 101st birthday to Ann Smith. Ann retired from the State of Pennsylvania Women's Infant and Child Program. Ann is active in her church. A Sunday school teacher for over 50 years, she is also a community volunteer with numerous organizations. Ann's advice, get all the education you can. Treat people right. Do your best because once you travel that road, you can't go back. And Anne shared that she has peace of mind knowing that when she goes to bed at night, she has contributed something positive, even if it's praying for someone. Happy 100th birthday to Anne Spivey. Anne was born in Pennsylvania, Virginia, and was one of nine children. Anne met her late husband, Tommy, while working in Woolworths, the five and dime store. They relocated to Yorktown to raise a daughter. Anne loved children and worked at a kindergarten aid for many years. Her hobbies include cooking, sewing, and playing the piano. Happy birthday to Walter Allen Welshman, who will be turning 100 years old in December. Walter is married to Verna. They have eight children and now have 24 grandchildren and 20 great-grandchildren. Walter earned bachelor degrees in marketing management and business administration from the University of Turin in Italy. He worked for the National Agricultural Institute. Walter is a member of the Freemasons and was active in his neighborhood community watch. He enjoys playing cricket. The secret to Walter's longevity, great conversations, do good deeds daily and live one day at a time. Happy 101st birthday to Shirley Wiegand. Shirley is happiest when spending time with her family. She fondly remembers roller skating on Broad Rock Road. 
She is a lifelong member of Ramsey Memorial United Methodist Church. Shirley is a graduate of Smith Deal Massey Business College, and she was employed as a supervisor at the Defense General Supply Center, Bellwood, until retirement. Her advice, church is important. Don't drink and smoke, leave that stuff alone. Secret to Shirley's longevity, stay active. She currently lifts weights and rides an exercycle for fitness. Happy 101st birthday to Marie Williams. One of Marie's favorite childhood memories is spending time with family, playing cards or listening to the radio. After business school, Marie worked for New Jersey Bell Telephone Company. She currently is active in church and senior club. Marie enjoys knitting and following the Mets and the New York Giants. Her advice, take life slower and spend more time with family and church activities. Do and be the best you can each day. And the secret to Marie's longevity, lots of help from God and family, exercise, a balanced diet, and rest. Congratulations and happy birthday to all of our centenarians in Chesterfield County. Your resilient spirit and ability to adapt to change is inspiring. Thank you for sharing the secrets to your longevity and sage advice. Your collective wisdom is a beacon of hope and words to live by for future generations. In addition to tonight's presentation and on behalf of the Board of Supervisors, each centenarian will receive a certificate of recognition along with a Chesterfield County challenge coin that is given to exemplary citizens in our community. I would like to extend a special thank you to Jackie Weisgarber, the Social Security Administration Public Affairs Specialist, for her partnership, promotion, and support that contributed toward the success of tonight's program. And thank you to the aging and disability staff, Linda Yarbrough, Festine Patrick, and Cindy Taylor, as this presentation truly was a team effort. And finally, thank you to our community partners and family members who shared life histories and special photos to honor this evening's centenarians. And if you'd like to learn more about programs and services for older adults in Chesterfield County, please contact Citizen Information and Resources Office of Aging and Disability Services. We can be reached at area code 804-768-7878. Thank you. Thank you for bringing that to our attention. I, I think the thing that spoke to me the most was that every one of those folks had some involvement in their community, whether it was church activities, whether it was school activities, uh, other ways in which they've always been. And I, and I firmly believe that those interactions are probably also what le led to their longevity in life. And I think it's really a message to everyone moving forward that, you know, it is a little bit about um, what you get a little bit of what you give and so um, it, it really speaks to me as I watched you um, you know just sort of dialogue all through the stories of each one of these folks so thanks very much for bringing that to our attention for just highlighting these citizens who really are still very engaged obviously in their communities to the extent they can be but their stories are really something for us to remark on um, you know after a century so thank you Madam Chair, I would want to congratulate each and every one of them. Thank you for bringing this to our attention. This has been a special treat. And certainly, I appreciate their advice, uh, especially being truthful and all that good stuff, positive. I greatly appreciate it and eat, but not eating too much. And of course, uh, I really, it's really been uh, wonderful. And I, I thank you for that. And I congratulate them again. Uh, they, they are what make, these are the individuals what make our country our state and our community here in Chesterfield what it is they are literally the salt of the earth they preserve us congratulations thank you Madam Chair, I just want to wish them happy birthday and, and it's extend to the younger people in our community that these are probably people you want to spend time with they have probably some tremendous advice and stories uh, about life that they could share 